Hey, what's up, man? What are you doing? Ah, uh, nothing much. You know, semester's almost over and I'm planning on a road trip. Wow, you need some help for this? Yeah, I actually do. I need to figure out how long the planning's gonna take. Well, for things like that, I always use project scheduling. Project scheduling? What's that? What? You don't know what project scheduling is? No, could you show me how? So our first step is to label each of these activities. Cool. Now we need to find our video predecessors. Awesome. Now I need to find the third problem, but my friend Charlie's gonna help. Hey, you need my help? Yeah. Can I borrow that stick? No. So now we gotta find out how many days each activity takes. Tight. Now we need to turn this information into a network. Diagram. Here it lists all the activities, all the activity times, and all the video predecessors for each activity. Now our first step is to go forward in the network diagram and list each activity's early start time and early finish time. Now we need to find out our early start times. Early start equals the maximum early finish of all media predecessors. That is represented in the top middle boxes as we go through. Then we need to find out our early finish times. The early finish time equals the early start time plus activity time. And that is represented in the top third box in each activity. So now we need to go through the network diagram backwards to figure out our latest start and our latest finish time. The first step in going backwards is finding our latest finish time. But you got to be careful because it's the most confusing part. For a latest finish time equals the minimum of latest start times of the immediate followers, and that is represented in the bottom third box. For example, for activity B, its immediate followers are activity E and F, and the latest start time for activity E is 9, and the latest start time for activity F is 8. And so we take the minimum of those and we put that in this box right here, which is 8. And the last thing we need to find is the latest start time, which equals the latest finish minus activity time, and that is represented in the bottom middle box. And we do that for the entire network diagram. So our network diagram is complete. Now we need to find our critical path. Our critical path is where we have no slack. And by that, we mean that our earliest start matches our latest start. And our earliest finish matches our latest finish. And from that, we see our critical path starts at from here to A, and A to D, and D to G and G to H, and from H we finish. And you see that it's going to take you at least 10 days to work out your road trip. So do you understand that? <laughs> it's time to leave for the road trip! What's up man? Are you ready for your road trip? Oh yeah, I haven't planned this road trip for 10 days. Dude, where's your car? Don't worry about it.